Hi, it's Meg from Meg's Garden Paper Craft, and I'm here to here today to show you the. It's a little different, and you can see why. Instead of the normal uh, two or three signatures, I've got one uh, multi one in the middle, and then two flaps on the side. And very easy to do. Um, on the cover, we've got, um, I guess it's a, a chocolate cardstock, and the rest of the book is black, uh, foam mounted, and this is one of the cut and creates. And if you didn't want it totally like that, you can cut pieces off it, lots of tiny little pieces here, and make very interesting uh, additions to a tag or even another. Um, cut and create. So this is the cover. I've got some um, mesh uh, ribbon going around and you'll see more of it. It goes down the spine and I've got three cut and creates just on the back and the same ribbon going around. Now we've done the six. The six ends at this edge here. And what I've done instead of that, on the front and the back, I've added a flap to it so that you've got uh, a double page right there, which is, I think, a very effective way of doing it. Now, to do this, uh, the cover is six inches, so the extra piece is going to be six inches, and it's five and a quarter wide. That's from that one to that one. Uh, attaching the flap to the cover, front and back, is this half inch. So we've scored it at half inch and then scored at another quarter inch on top of that. Uh, the half inch is to glue to the cover. You can see the, the junction there. And then the quarter inch is to allow us to play on the inside of the uh, flap. This is um, a simple um, cut and create, and it's mounted on um, tea dyed vellum. I've used a bit of tea dyed vellum in here. Um, I had lots of scraps of it, so it's been used up in this little book. Um, okay, so. On this flap here, where we've got a quarter inch uh, to play with, we've got a piece of uh, cardboard, um, corrugated cardboard. This in this foam, this I'm sorry, cut and create is bent in the middle, so it's pushed in further, uh, creating a bit of height. We've got a foam mounted tag and uh, a tiny little um, cut and create right there. And this is the size that's very, very handy. Now on the inside, uh, we've got a two inch, I believe it's two inches, yes, two inch piece of cardstock, the chocolate cardstock, which brings color into this whole um, art piece. It's glued on the sides, and then we've got three cut and creates, uh, including a tag. And then this is a black and white strip, and I've done the same thing on the back of it as well. So it kind of matches front and back. Um, we'll leave this uh, complicated piece in the middle. It's actually not that complicated. And we look at the back, and this is another cut and create, really vintage photo around the edges, and same uh, mesh ribbon. And we have another piece of uh, corrugated, and it's good to, what I usually do is um, take off part of the back, the paper background so that you can bend it and create um, curves and you can do the edges and really do a good job on it. 
a foam mounted cut and create tag and another two cut and creates and then this is the same uh, as the front. Now a hint before you go any further. Can you see that this has um, kind of a, a raised pattern on it um, and the inside is flat. Now when you, before you even do this here, you've cut your piece of paper which is six by five and a quarter. Now you, what you want to do is to match up your blank, your, your flat inside with your flat inside. Otherwise you'll have this one on the inside. And since this is mostly covered up, you'd be losing this nice design. Okay, now this is the same thing as the front. Uh, when you're cutting your piece where it's sitting between two um, scores, you want just a hint to be narrower so that there's no interference with your score here and your score here. And three cut and creates. Okay, everyone happy so far? All right, now this piece here, I painted, I'm sorry, I printed on a piece of uh, vellum. Let me just get the directions here. The vellum is 10 inches wide and 5 high, so it goes all the way behind. So it's the front and the back of this middle signature. Uh, so that's 10 by 5, the pages are 5 high, 4 and a quarter wide, 4 and a quarter here, 4 and a quarter here, and it's a 1 and a half inch spine. Now, what I've done is I've printed two images on this vellum here. And that just sits by itself on the side here because we have to do all of this other part first. Except we've done a, um, a cut and create in order to, um, I guess, add some interest into this page and because we've got this black piece here. And there's an ampersand, which is a great image. And if you need this vellum, um, email me at uh, Meg, Meg's Garden at Outlook.com and I'll pop that right back in the mail in the email to you. Um, no obligation, I won't keep your email. Um, I don't have um, a list of customers. Okay, so now we come to, let's go to the middle one. We've got the black piece. And this is a cutoff from either the cover or this one here. Uh, this is nine and a half wide by four and a half high, and it has a one inch spine. And you can see that this is a one inch, the chocolate underneath it is one and a half, and the spine is one and a half. We've got a cut and create for mounted here. And we've got a collection, one going down the side, a foam mounted uh, tag, and it has a cut and create on top of it. Two more here. And then we've got um, an envelope. And then this has just been cut so that we can create a tuck in effect. Uh, if you do that, um, put some. Uh, double-sided tape um, at the end of the cut and that will reinforce the cut. Okay and we've got some tuck, uh, cut and creates going in there and two cut and creates on the on the um, ribbon that's going down the center and that color is just bringing all of these other vintagey browns and coffees. Okay and then we've got um, one cut and create and it's bent in the middle and pushed together. Alright, that's the black one. Now we go to the coffee one. 
and this is pretty simple. Uh, four of them on the front. We've got one foam mounted because we've got room here with a one and a half spine. And <laughs> I'm losing my brain. Um, oh, what's this one? One and a quarter. No, the black is one inch. This is one and a quarter, and this is one and a half. Okay, so this is foam mounted. Uh, this is also foam mounted. We've got the same um, kind of thing going on here with two tiny cut and creates. This one's foam mounted. One, two, three, and then the same one here. And we've got three of them on the back. Now, now that you're totally confused, I'll put the dimensions in the bottom and they'll be basically um, the cover and then this, these extra pieces, the vellum, the chocolate and the black and it will give you the um, size of the page or the, and the size of the piece and the spines. Okay, so we've got the cover and the back and the spine and inside we have this very complicated signature but we've added two extra pieces on the front cover and the back cover. Okay, so they sit down nicely but we've got enough room with this quarter inch spine to be able to foam mount. Okay, and then we've got the vellum is 10 wide, 5 high. That's one layer. The chocolate is 10 by 5. with a one and a quarter spine and then the black is nine and a half by four and a half high with a one inch spine. Okay, any questions please don't hesitate to call me um, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.